Hi Gemini and welcome to your weekly tarot scope. I'm Katie, I'm a professional intuitive tarot card reader. If you are interested in a private reading with me, then please visit my website at katietarot.com. This tarot scope is for the 28th of August through to the 3rd of September. Now Gemini, I have pulled a an oracle card to start off the reading this week and it is quiet times. So this card is all about taking time out to really listen to your inner self and accept the stillness and the tranquility that belongs to your soul. So let's see what the other cards have in store for this week and how it relates to this card. So it looks like a lot of you need to take some time out and get back to your true self. So let's have a look at Monday's energies, Monday's and Tuesday's energies. We have the Nine of Air and the Knight of Cups. So Gemini, we are leaving behind worries. We're leaving behind the anxiety of something and we're moving towards something that we want, something that makes us happy, something that makes us joyful inside, very content emotionally. This is what we're aiming for on Monday and Tuesday this week. Quieten the mind down because with the nine of air, the nine of swords, our mind is getting on top of us. There's a strong sense of thinking negative thoughts and it's not necessarily the truth of what's going on around us. It's just our, our mind working in overtime with worry. So that's where this, uh, this Oracle card comes in for you, Gemini. It's the quiet time. It's reassessing your emotions, getting in touch with them, releasing the fear around this situation, person, scenario in your life. So you'll have to place the energy. It's going to be different for everyone. But it's one of letting go of worry and anxiety and coming back to your true core, your true center. And accepting the stillness within yourself, really. That's what it's what it's saying. It looks like for most of you or for some of you, it's going to be emotionally driven as in relationships, romantic partners, something or someone you're emotionally attached to that's going to be causing you the worry or has caused you worry. But when this energy comes in, remain calm, meditate, center yourself and you'll be able to get through it unscathed. You'll be able to lift your vibration up. And you are moving towards calmer times. So your mind won't be overactive. Your mind will be calm. There won't be that stress there. Let's have a look midweek for you. Temptation, which is the devil and the sun reversed. Yeah, it's not easy to overcome. It's not easy to take time out and to calm the mind, Gemini. It's not. And this week you really have to try and and do this because it's going to benefit you beyond belief. It really is. You're going to be able to really, with this beautiful sun card here, joy, happiness, You'll be able to let that into this area of your life again if you're able to center yourself. So whatever this is for you, it's quite a significant area of your life. It's not just a not just this week, it's a longer time period that you've been dealing with this. If it's a person, then it looks like they have been causing you some distress for some time. If you need to make decisions to get them out of your life or to 
communicate with them and and tell them hey you know what I'm not putting up with this anymore or you know this isn't working for me let's let's move towards something different then that's what you need to do because you're going to lift your vibration this week there's a really strong energy here Gemini being able to calm down so then you're able to move forward but it is a big deal for you if this is not an easy task by any means it's not but once you're able to do this in this area of your life you're going to move forward in in a really positive way it will be like the sun coming back i mean look how beautiful that card is that's what you're going to be feeling like You have to make you have to make the conscious decision to overcome what's going on in your mind whether it's right it might be right you you know this person or the situation might be causing you conflict but it's how you deal with the situation though and that's what the cards are saying you know it's time for an ending now it's time for a transformation now it's time for a moving on you don't need to feel trapped anymore you don't need to feel controlled anymore and how you break free is by going inside yourself, is by recognizing your soul and who you really are. Really relinquishing the, the mind. So... Let's see. Pretty intense energies here, Gemini. Let's have a look at the end of the week for you. Queen of Fire. And the Seven of Cups reversed. So this is the Queen of Wands. This is indicating that for most of you for some of you i say most of you this is a family thing or a relationship thing it doesn't have to be but that's just the that energy coming through on the weekend mm. you're going to be if you're able to do this then it's going to be okay you're going to be able to move forward you're not going to have this mm, mind trouble that has been plaguing you about this issue for quite some time because I feel that a lot of you have recognized you need to change, but there is fear there. There's fear of letting go. There's fear of fear of the future, not knowing what that brings. But on the weekend, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're moving through this pretty intense, intense energy midweek here. But great potential though, great potential midweek. For you guys to be able to live in joy, to live in your peace. And you'll be focused about things on the home. You'll be focused on your friends on the weekend. You'll be focused on your loved ones on the weekend. Even if this is about someone in your personal life, you'll still be enjoying the company. Because you would have moved through this. This is quite an internal thing for some of you. You're letting go of the false ideas, the ideas you've built up around this person, situation, scenario in your life. You're letting go of them. You don't want them anymore. You want to be in control. You want to be sure of yourself. You, you want your mind to stop fighting you on this and your emotions, your all of your, your heart and your mind and your body, you want it to all be in sync. You want it to work together. You want yourself to be in harmony. You want to let go of those false illusions. And you'll be able to do it. Let's have a look at the advice card for you. Two of Earth and the Ace of Cups. So the advice cards, Gemini, this week is that, you know, if you're able to get back to your center, 
this card here where we started from, if you're able to get back to that center, calm your mind, release the fear, then this situation is going to move forward in exactly the way that you want it. You're going to have a real balance in your life. In this area of your life, there's going to be balance. So whether that means communication with someone else or a scenario at work or a, a, your partner's, um, your relationship with your partner, whatever it is, there's going to be real balance once you can come in mind and get in touch with yourself. Because ultimately, you know, other people can try and affect us. But if we're in our center, then they it just affects them it bounces off us and goes straight back to them so that's what you need to remember this week and you'll be able to and your dreams will come true literally they're really you'll be able to push forward and you'll be able to have such joy and harmony emotionally and otherwise in this area of your life okay gemini that concludes the reading for this week if you like the content then please subscribe until next time bye for now